will make salsa and dance the salsa. It's two for one at the City Market's Farm to Table Kitchen. Christine is giving us a sneak peek. Who doesn't love salsa? It's the center of every party at least I've been to, but I have no idea how to make it. So you're gonna show us I'm how to make salsa. You. Actually, you're gonna show us how to make salsa today. With my fine chopping skills that she's entrusting me with. So what do we do? Where do well, I start? We're gonna start off our vegetables and we only need three simple vegetables if we're making a regular tomato salsa. Okay. So we obviously need tomatoes. Check. And then we also need peppers. Um, I chose green pepper because my family likes a little milder salsa, but you can also do a spicy pepper if you oh, like. Oh, cool. And then we also have onion. So if you wanna go ahead and start dicing those up. Okay. You can use any onion. I usually stick with the white onion. Um, okay. Just so it doesn't distort the flavor, and I like the white onions a little bit better. And then when I am cutting them, I make mine a little chunkier because I like my salsa chunky. So it sticks to my chips and sticks to my food that I'm eating it with. I like it. Now you were saying if you use a spicier pepper than this, you may wanna put gloves on. Yes, definitely wear gloves, even if it's a jalapeno. Um, a lot of people work with them and they don't think they're that spicy, but if you're cutting a couple pounds of them, trust me, you will feel it later. Is it true that the seeds are the hottest part? They are. You get a little kick. Yeah. Okay, so, so can I add those to the bowl? Yep, add those in there. And then, actually, you know, while you're cutting your green peppers, let's go ahead and start processing our tomatoes. So if you okay. want to make some big X's on the bottom of these, we're gonna boil them so we can fill them. Do you have to go like really deep or? No, not very deep. We're gonna peel our tomatoes, that way the skin doesn't fall off when we make our salsa and we have these little chunky things in our salsa. You have to put them in cold water after? Yep, you're gonna boil them and then you stop the cooking process and you put them in cold water and then you peel them. Okay, sounds good. Did I do this one? Is this one good? I I already done. Already. So really that's all you need are these ingredients. Can you add anything else? Um, we recommend to add it while well, you have your salt and then your lime juice because oh. you have to add in some vinegar or uh, an acid into it. Especially when you're canning. Yes. All right, well, I'm going to do my best to keep cutting this guy up. I made this all weird, but I guess it's all going to taste the same, right? Yep, I think so. Cool. All right, we're going to check back in with you.